Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. What, Northern Lion Plays? Let's play The Binding of Isaac. The rebranding has not gotten to the Isaac series yet. In any case, we're going to play as Isaac because the D6 is going to be incredibly useful for me as someone who has had shit runs lately. Halo of Flies. I don't know what to do about this one. It only gives you two flies at, level, at the first uh, level, right? You need to get like that third fly somewhere else. You know what? We're going to take Halo of Flies. I think this could end up saving me. Thinking long term, uh, this is also like a huge help if we end up running into or like having a run that is good enough to eventually get to Isaac. We get another key there, which is awesome. Or our first key, I guess, technically. So as much as I wanted to reroll Halo of Flies because it's not, you know, Polyphemus Brimstone or Mom's Knife, I thought... Why don't we go with this? It's a prudent decision. Who knows? Maybe we re-roll it. We pick up, like, fucking poop or something. And then we don't get a chance to re-roll whatever this boss gives us. I think this was the smart decision for us. There is a heart down here. So why don't we, like, walk in. Check it out. Double bombs. Not so hot. Uh, we know where the secret room is now, though. Let me just replenish my hearts first. Let me make sure I'm not a total idiot. Uh, yes, I was just gonna make sure that that heart wasn't, like, contained in a rock or something. I had to use a bomb to get to it. We will uh, definitely bomb our way into the secret room. If there's an item, we'll probably re-roll it because there is the potential to get fetus in a jar. Or epic fetus. Well, you know what? Nine cents is fine too. I didn't have to use a bomb. I could have just walked in through there. And in fact, now that I think about it, that might have been a better decision because what we could have done is like fight this guy and then if we didn't lose any health, then we could have uh, gone for... Uh, taken the health that he dropped and then used that to go in the room. But whatever, it's just a one bomb use... And you never know, because that would have taken us down to all the way to one heart. So what if we go into that secret room and Greed's in there? I don't know if that's possible on the first floor. But if it was, we would have a pretty tricky fight and possibly get ourselves fucking killed on the first floor. Which would be pretty embarrassing. I'm not saying it hasn't happened. It, it's happened, you know, fairly recently, I think. Anyway, at least within the last 20 episodes. Uh, but still... You know, not something, if I can avoid it, I would love to. So we're just gonna take down Duke of Flies here. Duke of Flies, you know, I used to say maybe easiest boss in the game. I don't necessarily disagree with my past self. However, I feel like he's not all that easy if you run into him on the first floor. Like, if you don't have enough damage to take the flies down in one hit each, then he can be kind of a pain in the ass. Not that he's, like, difficult necessarily, but he just takes a while. And you gotta watch out, you can't get too close because he can do that spitting maneuver or, like, burping maneuver where he moves them away. Anyway, good first floor. We will not re-roll our tiers, HP, and possibly damage upgrade here. Instead, we'll just head down to the next floor. And everything is coming at Millhouse so far. So we do have a tinted rock. We have zero bombs. Kind of a sore spot for me, but, uh, you know, hopefully... We'll be able to pick up one in the near future. Who knows, maybe even from this very item room right here. So thank god we took the D6, haven't even used it yet. That is Little Chad. I don't like Little Chad. Probably one of my least favorite items in the game, actually. So we'll re-roll that. Razor Blade, also quite unpalatable to my personal taste. So we'll definitely get ready to build a second reroll that we will hopefully use on that. Um, that's tempting, because I do want to get another... We'll play it out and see how this works. I don't necessarily want to use my key to open the um, golden chest in there, but if I need an extra... Well, now we have two keys, so we might as well. <laughs> uh, but now we need health, awesome. What I was going to say is that I, I I do want to get, like, if we need another room to build up a charge for the D6, then I will. Because getting something for a key, so, like, it's basically like getting another treasure room, because that razor blade is something that I definitely do not want. I know Ed has gone on record saying it's one of his favorite items. Uh, I respectfully disagree. I mean, you know, people are allowed to have different tastes. However, I do find that the, the razor blade... It's kind of god-awful. So we are gonna, uh, take the nickel here, go to the shop. Shop contains portable so well, let's... Uh, I wanna reroll some of this shit too. We'll buy the bomb is what we'll do. Because that'll allow us to get that tinted rock, uh, that's a couple rooms earlier. We do have our boss room here. So we're not gonna be able to have two... Uh, we're not gonna be able to have two rerolls. So maybe what we'll do is we'll go to the boss room... First. If we wanna reroll a potential deal with the devil, we will. If not, this should give me full health. Okay, so well, we're not going to be able to reroll what the boss gives us anyway. And also, this version of Famine is the fucking homing version of Famine. That's a total pain in the dick. Come on, buddy. Don't be an asshole like this. Oh, right, I forgot about that. Also, the, of course, the, uh, like, peep shooting that he does. So hopefully we won't die here, and assuming we don't... This is actually what I wanted. I wanted to get uh, at least a... A first level Meat Boy, so that we can pick up our, uh, like, third tier Halo of Flies, so that we have three projectiles going around us instead of just two. 
Or sorry, three protectors going around us instead of just two. Blue Famine is like a straight downgrade in terms of, of easiness from regular Famine. Like, you could argue that maybe Blue Mom and Red Mom are... You know, they have pros and cons compared to the regular version of Mom. Not so. We don't have to reroll Deal with the Devil, which is awesome. So we'll take our Spirit Hearts, and this should allow us to go to the, uh, see, not Secret Room, uh, the da, 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 Mob Trap Room, which we will not open anymore. We'll instead just go back to our Item Room and reroll the shit out of that. But first, we will open it if we get more keys, I should say. Two more Spirit Hearts from that Tinted Rock, excellent. Reroll the Razor, get Mom's Contacts. Freeze Effect, that is dope as hell. Sign me up! Um, and we will just, uh, you know what? Let's buy, we'll, we'll go to the mob trap room here with the golden chest. Then if we need to, if we don't get a key from this, we'll buy a key from the shop for five cents. We get red patch. That functions like rage, but when you take damage, I think. Mom's contact, cool item. I don't get it all that often. So I enjoy getting it. And uh, definitely a big helper against some specific kinds of enemies. Uh, you know what, I guess we'll go with red patch over the lucky toe. Could be conceived as slightly better, uh, or perceived as slightly better. I don't really know. When it comes to trinkets, for me, there's like God tier and then sort of everything else. God tier is any penny, like flat penny, counterfeit penny. Counterfeit penny is probably the worst, actually, but like flat penny. Um, I'm totally for burnt penny. What's the, the flat penny is the one that gives you the golden keys, right? That one is fantastic. Uh, and we will buy a key from the shop here. Uh, but then yeah, cancer, stuff like that. And once you get below that, then it sort of doesn't really matter as much to me. Polaroid can be really useful if you're having a blue baby run, but you know, all runs end with Polaroid anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So let us head down to the caves part one. Sorry, the catacombs part one. We're looking a little bit Kano-ish right here. But I do dig, uh, the freeze effect. What's one thing, apart from Mom's Knife, Brimstone, and Flying, What's the one thing I complain about or want to have the most in every run? It's always tear effects, right? It's always give me mom's knife or some sweet ass tear effects. Well, finally, we got some sweet ass tear effects. Maybe we can stack them, get a polyphemus quad shot or something going on here. We got game kid, we're gonna reroll that. Uh, the game kid's alright, but it's too early for me to be giving up the d6. Instead, we will take little Steven. Nice little uh, familiar to go along with. It's not the greatest item in the game, but again, any extra damage is always good damage. It's going to help us against bosses. And it's going to help us in situations where our shots are going to need to home. Because my aim is going to be dog shit. I'm digging this freeze effect. Don't get it all that often. Plus, you know, different color of tears. Really mixes things up. Adds a little bit more. Scientists at the Binding of Isaac Institute have found that it adds 2% more variety to every run. Uh, when you vary the tier colors. So we can pick up two more bombs here. That's awesome because we can go to the secret room potentially now. And when going to the secret room, we could possibly get enough money. Nine cents is fairly common to take us to the uh, shop where we do have enough keys to now access. Which is awesome. So let's just freeze one of these dudes. Kill him. Another one over here is very nearly dead. It's the most mob trap rooms I've been to in the early game in a long time. Well, I guess they don't even appear on the first floor, so it's, you know, by the third floor, this is the most mob trap rooms you could have possibly gone to, really. But we're doing it. we get one more in here, and we're still doing fine. Again, freezing effect is awesome. So, uh, secret room has a possibility to show up right here. Let us drop a bomb right there and see if that's gonna work. Nope, unlucky for us. Whatever. We will, uh, you know, there's, there's other various locations where it could possibly be. I think Halo of Flies just actually saved me from taking two hits there. So big ups to that. Again, Halo of Flies first level cube of meat is a little bit underrated. You kind of have to have all three in order to reach peak effectiveness. But if we get this and then, you know, maybe we get a Guardian Angel or something. Not that I would wish that item on myself. Awesome, that's a second secret room. Uh, not that I would really wish that item on anybody because I, I don't think Guardian Angel is that good. But if we got Guardian Angel now... Um, you know, it could put us in a position where we're, we're going to find it very difficult to take damage from Isaac, which is awesome. So we're just going to back the fuck up here. Now we got a nice little wide arena to deal with this dude. So, we are going to fight our final boss. Well, not our final boss, but our final boss on this floor. It's going to give us our second cube of meat again. This is actually really good. It gives us the potential. Now, well, first off, let's talk about what it gives us guaranteed. It gives us the second cube of meat, which is a nice little familiar, does decent damage. So, you know, in line with the same the same uh, philosophy that I had when I picked up little Steven. Certainly not a bad item. Any extra damage is awesome. 
Uh, beyond this, it also, because we're so early in the game, gives us a chance to get a third level Meat Boy, which of course is going to be useful for some bosses. Is this a champion? I seem to remember he was shooting two, uh, uh, two of those green bombs a little bit earlier in the fight. Maybe that was just a weird, like, temporal thing. I don't know. But in any case, we're just gonna keep this up here. He's very nearly dead. I'm not doing as much damage as I would like. Freeze effect, of course, is always nice, though. We could actually... It's like fighting the Duke of Flies all over again. There we go. We do have to deal with the Devil now. We'll take this. Now, Satan, you gotta give me something pretty good. I could probably be... Oh, let's reroll it. Yeah, Spirit of the Night. <laughs> That's way better than what I was gonna do, which is just pick up the, the Pact. Or the... Yeah, that was the deal of the Pact. I don't remember. Now yeah, we can fly, so that's pretty baller. Uh, we're gonna look for a secret room. Our first secret room, because we've already been to the second secret room. Maybe we'll find something useful in here. There we go, nine cents please. We got Dad's key! What we're gonna do is we're gonna, and I realize this is gonna be a waste of bombs, but we're gonna try, we're not gonna be able to get enough charges to get another um, D6 charge, which sucks. So we're just gonna abandon Dad's key. I still kinda don't like this item. I sort of don't understand how to use it effectively. I'm not- I understand it's- it's mechanism, I just don't understand why you would ever want to use it, maybe, is a better way to put it. I'm sure there are people out there who have used it to good effect. I'm not one of them. But so far, I am pleased with the, uh, the kind of upgrades that we've got on this run so far. Let us head down to only the fourth floor and hope that our good luck continues. Catacombs Part 2, again, uh, getting hit with some of these harder levels, but that's okay. Because, to be honest with you, we're having a pretty solid run right now. Can't really complain. I wish when you got Spirit of the Night it also made all your familiars shoot through, uh, shoot over rocks. Sadly, uh, the Spectral Tear effect does only apply to you. But that's really all I have to complain about right now. Unless I was going to be like a real dick and be like, Why don't I have Mom's Knife? I want Freezing Spectral Mom's Knife. That can come a little bit later. Or um, sometimes not at all. Well... Try to take out these assholes. I don't. I really do not like the <laughs> dodging that I've been doing. Normally with these guys, I like to stick to a set pattern. It is fairly easy for my brain to parse. This has not worked out in, the, in that sense. I don't know what it is. It's just like this room layout just doesn't feel like it works for me. And this tinted rock really blended in with the ground there. But let's blow that up. We'll pick up the rock, which is awesome. I could re-roll it. Don't want it. It's a damage upgrade. We'll take it. Try to find our item room, or uh, another room where we want to reroll as soon as possible. Considering we have three keys, might be worthwhile to go to the shop here with seven cents. You never know, sometimes you can get something on sale. A cheap compass or something like that, I would take it for sure. Well, actually, this is good. We'll fight Greed. If he drops like the quarter or something, we'll just reroll. Uh, and if he drops... Well, maybe we won't reroll. Eh, we'll, we'll probably reroll. Wow, that was a good shot at the end there. But yeah, that's more along the lines of what I was hoping for, is that he would just drop, you know, enough money to take me to exactly 15 cents. And another key to pay me back for the one I spent getting in here. So now when I go to the next shop, no problems. I do want to find the item room as soon as possible though. We have... it is a golden chest. You know what, since it's a golden chest, let's do this right away. Tarot card is the fool! Alright, well I certainly feel foolish. Going to our fourth mob trap room in three floors. But the fool card has the potential to at least save us some backtracking at some point. Again, I'm sure there are good uses for the fool card. I just can't really think of them. I guess the one... Ideal use that, that I think I've used before is like holding the Fool card, going to fight Mom quickly, and then like exiting the Mom room with the Fool card so that you can still explore more of the floor if you want to. I don't know why you'd want to do that. Doesn't seem that practical to me, but, you know, I'm sure there's certain situations where that would come up as a, a decent use. Sadly, we have no bombs left over. Now to look for our secret room. It's okay, I, I got, just got like a little uh, skittish about going over that spike, which is a good sign. But also means that my brain is not internalized that I can fly yet. We're getting a lot of red heart drops, but it's been a while since I've taken any damage. So I'm thinking that it's possible, maybe we will get a, another deal with the devil on this floor. Recall that deals with the devil are rewards. They're not just randomly and luck based. Uh, there's certain conditions that if you fulfill them, increase your chances of getting deals with the devil. For example, if you blow up a judgment, your chances of getting a deal with the devil increase. If you don't get hit on the final boss, your chances of getting a deal with the devil increase. I think if you don't get hit on the floor, your chances of getting a deal with the devil increase. There's lots of, of possible, uh, you know, conditions that you can reach there in order to help yourself out. And those deals with the devil are basically borderline essential uh, when it comes to 
mounting a successful run. You could do it with deals with the angel too, but I, I don't know. Deals with the devil at least give you a choice between items. Deals with the angel sometimes are like, here's a shitty item and a shittier item. We're going to reroll Book of Shadows. We got the scapular. I might go with it, but um, if I can reroll it again, I probably will. If it was the miter, I would pick it up, no questions asked. However, I feel like the scapular just isn't as strong of an item uh, as the... Uh, da -da -da. As the uh, miter. The, uh, the scapular is not as strong as the miter is what I was trying to get at there. So we're going to fight. Uh, I always call this guy the Blighted Ovum. I always call everybody the Blighted Ovum, apparently. Um, he's going to be fairly easy. There are problems. He's fast. And he's doing that peep thing, but he's going to die very quickly here. One of my favorite boss fights, actually. He's just super easy. Uh, Fast-paced. I like it. Let's take out this guy. One more to go. No deal with the devil. We're going to take Scapular, reroll range upgrade to get tears upgrade. It's a less than ideal circumstance. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. Scapular plus tears upgrade is not the end of the world. Secret room? Not the secret room. There's three possible locations. We could run through a lot of bombs here. All right, Scapular, you got me this time. This is going to give us invincibility now and then. Not a terrible item. Not the secret room. <laughs> I'm going to take one more crack at it down here. I really wish if you got Epic Fetus or Fetus in a Jar, the bombs got the effects of the tears. Like, can you imagine bombs that also froze enemies? So you could just keep, like, Mom's heart perpetually frozen. Come on, big money, no whammies. There we go. Three cents. Spent, uh, three bombs to get three cents. Well, uh, less than ideal. Again, this floor is... Yeah, I'm not going to say it's treated us poorly, but in terms of, like, the random number generation, not the greatest. Not gonna go to that curse room because I'm, I'm loving the amount of spirit hearts we have right now and that can change in a flash. Uh, but, you know, in terms of like actual play, everything's going fantastically so far. If only we'd gotten a good item or a deal with the devil on this floor, then I'd feel a little bit better. But so far, so good. So, we are now on the depths. Curse of the Labyrinth means it's depths XL. Sadly, we only have one key. Okay, so first things first, we'll check out our... Okay, we'll definitely get Ghost Baby here from this item room. Again, another familiar is nice. This one has Spectral Tears as well. Remember, uh, you know, ten minutes ago when I said I wish Spirit of the Night gave Spectral Tears to your familiars as well? Well, I guess that wouldn't really apply to Blue Baby, but... Still, we're gonna shoot absolutely everything that we come across. Reason being that we desperately need, uh, probably two more keys. One for the shop and one for, uh, the remaining item room. Extra money doesn't hurt. Been a lot more vigilant about shooting that poop lately. You know, it's important. You gotta shoot the poop. If you're trying to... You know, eradicate malaria, it's what you gotta do. Okay, so we're gonna go to the shop right away. Now that we have the second key. I don't know why I'm, again, treating it like I'm actually walking here. In our shop, we have Super Greed. That's, like, super shitty. More like. Just a two-word review. Shit sandwich. Oh, come on, they can't print that, can they? Um, we're gonna take out Super Greed as soon as we can. Forgot that we had the red patch as well. I guess, like, we haven't really been hit. Thanks to this nice little collection of familiars around us. The money is not really that helpful. Probably does not hurt, because we could maybe spend it at a slot machine or something. Uh, but it sucks that two shops in a row we've run into greed, especially now that we have the money to kind of pick up some good stuff. But, you know, it is what it is. You can't get lucky in, in all aspects of a run every single time. What was it that Abraham Lincoln said? You can please some of the people all the time, but you can't please all the people all the time. You can only please all the people some of the time. Unless you're Ron Jeremy. <sighs> or was, it, was he the one who said, let them eat cake? I can never remember. Um, obviously, you know, facetious there. Last thing I need is a bunch of angry comments. That was Marie Antoinette, dumbass. Didn't you take Rena French Revolutionary History? I actually did not take French Revolutionary History. I'm always interested to know what the history programs for other countries are like. It's in Canada. At least for, you know, public elementary school and uh, high school, uh, you know, we learned primarily Canadian history, but also a nice little spell of American history, because it's important. And it ties into Canadian history with, you know, like the discovery of the continent and stuff like that. I always wonder, you know, if you live in, like, Malaysia, what's your history like? Do you learn about, like, the... A big focus for us, obviously, was on, like, the Second World War and stuff like that. Do you learn about that when you, if you live in Malaysia? I'm sure you do, but is, is it the same kind of focus, or is there some kind of... Again, I apologize to my Malaysian viewers. I'm completely ignorant of Malaysian history. If you know, let me know. I mean, that's kind of interesting, don't you feel? How history educations differ across the world. It's understandable. 
Just saying, it's an interesting food for thought, isn't it? Pop this open, we get the thumbtack. I'm not really a big fan of that item. Man, I wish we had the compass right now so we could know exactly where to go and not spend forever just trying to find the second item room. We do have the key, so I guess I can't really complain. There's our boss room. So obviously we're gonna go to that. Uh, there's the first time we've been hit in like three floors. So much for Dark Boy. Now we already unlocked that ages ago. Do that. We got a couple more of these guys. We got health here. What that means to me? First off, let's look for the secret room. What it means to me is that we can go play that Blood Bank a few times on our way back here. But first, we'll find the uh, secret, or sorry, the second item room. Hopefully, we've been to more the majority of rooms on this floor already. I don't want to do like another ten rooms. Actually, 10 rooms would not be that surprising, sadly. So we'll come through here. Again, I figured as much that we would have a, a long track here. So be it. Make sure that we take out these jabronis as soon as possible. How about this guy? What has he got to offer? Absolutely nothing. Say it again. Nothing in that poop either. Lots of secret room uh, possibilities here. I just blew myself up there. Tobias. Uh, yep, that was again very poor dodging. But still, we're doing well. As much as I've talked about how good this run has been, it hasn't really been great, it's been solid. Like, there's been really... There's nothing that's really put us over the edge of having, like, the greatest run of all time. But there's been a lot of decent items. Like, a lot of solid 7, 6 out of 10 items, which is fine, because I, I prefer those to, like, the 4 and 5 out of 10 items that we got in our last two runs. But, uh, you know, we haven't really had that many Spirit Heart drops lately. We've had some, we've had enough to keep us at least comfortable. We haven't really had that many, um, you know, like, damage upgrades, although we've had a couple, and we certainly do- Oh, nice, we finally found it. Rerollable item, please. Slot machine, that's shitty as hell. What we need is really, like, our second item room or a deal with the devil here to give us, and you know what I'm gonna say, I'd be way more comfortable if we had Mom's Knife right now. Mo freezing Mom's Knife, the ability to do a ton of damage, finally we get rid of this fool card. Pretty fly! Alright, that's- that actually is potentially useful, assuming we get uh, a third Meat Boy in the womb. Sadly, we didn't get one. Oh, we might get one in the depths. I mean, I, guess, I suppose it's totally possible, right? Because uh, we we're going to have two boss fights. So maybe we fight death first, and then we get our third level Meat Boy, and then we'll have three flies still because of this uh, pretty fly pill that we got. So our tarot card is the sun. Good card. We'll probably try to use that as a... I mean, we could use it as a compass, we could use it as a necronomicon, we could use it as a full health. Usually, I like to use it as a full health, however, considering we only have two heart containers, it might be better to use this as a compass a little bit later in the game. Like, compass slash map. And, and maybe use it on, like, a, a womb or a cathedral level. Who knows? We'll see. It's all still very much up in the air right now. In our secret room, we have the miter. Not gonna reroll that. That is a, a great item. And then rather than playing the blood bank, Let's play Demon Judgment here. Demon Judgment pays out with Mom's Pad, which we will reroll the shit out of. And it's Monster Man Well, which we'll reroll the shit out of eventually, assuming we can get one more uh, reroll here. Please, yes, I, I want combat in all of these rooms, please. Demon Judgment gives you a deal with the devil item, I think. Bloody Penny gives us hearts every time a penny is dropped. I prefer red uh, patch for now. What's this? Judgment. Yeah! Judgment is awesome, actually, because we have all this money and nothing to do with it. Wow! It pays out with the rosary. Very first attempt. That's cool, actually. Sign me up for the Judgment fan club. Comes with a, a Judgment-branded Trapper Keeper. Uh, pictures of Judgment on the cover of Team Beat. I didn't even know we had a chest here. Getting tons of money that I really can't use right now. But, you know, who knows? Maybe we come across another judgment a little bit later. So, obviously, Monster Manuel is a garbage item that we are going to reroll. Uh, and hopefully pick up Mom's Knife. Well, Anarchist Cookbook, that's awful. Um, yeah, that's like three of the worst items that I could possibly fathom right now. Mo or, uh, I was going to say Mom's Knife. Let's not go crazy here. Um... There's a Monster Manuel, Mom's Pad, Anarchist Cookbook. Three items that, if they come up, oftentimes, I'm just like, I would rather not have these. Like, I would rather have nothing than have the items that you're trying to give me right here. So we do have an arcade here. Gonna have a blood bank in it where we could earn some money if we want to. We don't really want to. There is There are hearts that we could spend, because uh, like, there's hearts that we can pick up a little bit later. Man, this is a large floor. 
Extra bombs. Glad I explored this area of the map now. Um, but for now... Oh, it's a tough room. Wish I had not chosen this room for, uh, my last D6 charge here. Freeze him! Oh my god damn. We're still doing fine. No serious complaints. Extra keys, awesome. It's gonna be our last uh, attempt at a D6 here. I'm guessing. I suppose there's a possibility that it wouldn't be, but... We should absolutely go, uh, re-roll Anarchist Cookbook. We could go to those remaining two rooms, if there's combat in those, then we could go fight the first boss. Is there really only one boss on this floor? It seems like it, according to the map. Oh, maybe we just haven't explored that far. Oh my god! Mutant Spider! Everything is immediately worth it! Okay, let's get ourselves to the boss room now. Alright, so that's a good... It took four or three or four re-rolls there, but eventually we got a fantastic item. What was I begging for after I got the mom's contact? How about quad shot? Sure, I'll take it. Froze that turret. Fuck you, turret. So I don't know if this quadruples the uh, frequency of freezing. Like, if it... If every shot has the same percentage chance to freeze as an exist... Like, a regular one shot. Or if each one has one quarter of the chance to freeze. But it doesn't really matter. I'm a big fan of this. Yes! So we will get third level Meat Boy, assuming that we don't die during this fight, but I mean, it's going pretty well so far. Uh, he's already in the running phase, and he's getting frozen like hell. Anecdotally, uh, I would say that we have four times the chance to freeze now. Like, each one has one chance. And now suddenly, that pretty fight that we picked up is worth it. Let us fight Mom. It is Red Mom. But we're gonna be able to freeze her foot here, presumably. And if we manage to do that... That is gonna be nice for us. I don't know if Meat Boy's doing like any damage at all. We're not freezing your foot at all. Uh, but things are going exceptionally well. I think we have a chance on this run. This is a non-traditional run for sure. And if we picked if we got mom's knife, I would still take it, because we'd be doing insane damage. Uh, but that was super easy. We get squeezy, tears upgrade, doesn't hurt. Certainly we're gonna wanna take our Polaroid here. And then head down to the next floor. Excellence. Uh, we're just gonna keep it up. We're on the wound part one. For once, you know, we don't have the more difficult of the floor options here. Thank you, Meat Boy. Third level Meat Boy has kind of been the unsung hero. Well, maybe he's just unsung person right now. Quadruple freezing spectral shots. Feels good, man. Extra spirit heart. Um, but yeah, like, I haven't even mentioned. Wow, we found the boss room super early. That's great. Haven't even mentioned how helpful this guy's gonna be. He's gonna be a pain in the ass once we get to the, uh... The Isaac boss fight, because Isaac's just going to continuously fire bullets, but... Wow, we're going to get level 4 Meat Boy! Uh, yeah, like, Isaac's still going to be a pain in the ass, but... This is awesome. I'm a big fan of this. Uh, if we can make this death fight any easier, I'd certainly go for that. I'll try to enter a second phase here, and when he succeeded. If we make less zombies, though, that's, that's fine by me. There we go. Oh! Eat it! It's got to be dead soon, right? Well, the freezing is working quite well. Oh, there we go. Alright, so there's our fourth level Meat Boy. We got a much larger version. That is awesome. That's like only the second or third time I've gotten a level 4 Meat Boy just without Book of Revelations or anything. So, with level 4 Meat Boy and Quad Shot, feeling pretty solid about our chances here. Um, yeah, thank you. I was thinking about how to kill this guy. Alright, oh, how about level 4 Meat Boy? I don't have a lot of strategy for playing with level 4 Meat Boy, because I've never really spent a lot of time with him. But I do know that he does a ton of damage. So I feel pretty awesome about how things are going so far. I feel like the game is atoning for past mistakes. Maybe not past mistakes? How about past fucking me in the ass with shitty runs? It's giving me a, my, my fair share of great ones runs as well, but they always end up spaced out. It's always like 3 great runs, 11 shitty runs. Like, come on. Work with me here. Let me get a let me get a good run, bad run, good run, bad run. We still might not beat the chest on this one. Like that's a testament to how difficult the chest is. If this was pre Wrath of the Lamb, even if we were just going to the cathedral, easy, no problems. Uh, but since we are, you know, going to the hardest floor like ever conceived, things are gonna be a little bit more difficult for us. I know we're gonna take damage on this room. There's sadly. Not much we can do about it, except minimize it. Come on, Meepo, you can do this. Freeze him! Freeze him! There we go. We got a Spirit Heart out of it anyway, so we didn't really take any net damage there. 
Just gonna keep making our way in the world today. Takes everything he got. Is this guy? Oh, he's still alive. Okay. And he's dead. Gonna keep this up. And there's our boss. Awesome. So we're not gonna get any treasure from beating Mom. That always sucks, but, you know, it's all good anyway. If we hold on to these four keys, we'll get some treasure in the, uh, in the chest. And this Mom's Heart boss fight should be very easy, uh, considering, you know, the benefits that we have going for us right now. Namely, level four Meat Boy chewing on everything. So I'm not gonna drop any bombs here. I'm gonna let Meat Boy handle our crowd control. Wow, the freezing is awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm gonna let Meat Boy handle crowd control or doing persistent damage to Mom's Heart. Either way is fine with me. And we will just, uh, not use bombs because I'm worried about him kicking them back at us. And, you know, that would be terrible. So we're in continuously firing bombs territory already. Man, if, maybe Isaac won't be a pain in the ass because we'll just freeze his ass. He won't stand a chance. So let us up to the cathedral here. I'm gonna save my sun card for the chest if possible. Again, as a full health unit or like upgrade it's basically worthless uh, but the ability for it to allow us to see uh, where we're gonna need to go another spirit art thank you miter also an unsung hero here I've only mentioned it once or twice but the spirit art drops are essential but um yes the ability for the uh, da -da, um, for the Sun to act as basically like a compass and a map for that final floor assuming we don't get curse of darkness or curse of the blind whatever it's called um, is gonna be amazing. Like, seriously, seriously useful for us. And again, we are just dealing crazy damage here. This is not gonna set any record times or anything like that. Wow, that was terrible. Um, it's not gonna set any record times, but, uh, it is a good run. And kind of a non-conventional run, which, which I enjoy, on a personal level. Sorry, I guess Meat Boy's gotta sit this one out. There's not really much he can do about this, but that's alright. We get a dime. Top of the line, etc, etc. Alright, Isaac, let's see what you got, buddy. We're going to try to just continuously hit him with shots so that we can freeze him. Otherwise, we're going to take a lot of damage because Isaac is going to fire a lot of fucking shots. But, when he's frozen, you know, dead men tell no tales, frozen man shoot no bullets. And this is going to be awesome for us. He's already on the second phase, firing like very irregularly because he spends most of his time frozen. We're going to enter the third phase soon, and the angel fetuses are going to be a pain in the ass. But, uh, not as much of a pain in the ass as this fight would have been without Mom's contact. This is a nice little suite of items we've got going on here. I'm actually- can you tell there's a smile on my face? I don't always have a smile on my face when I'm playing Isaac. I do right now, that was a lot of fun. Let us check out the chest. We got four items here, we still got our D6. Shears! Guardian Angel, what did I tell you? We get Guardian Angel in combination with this, we'll take less damage. Teleport. And homing bombs. Okay, we're gonna pick up Shears. Because that's going to give us another level 4 Meat Boy. But I also want to re-roll these other items. Which is impossible. Anyway, we'll use the sun. That'll tell us where to go. And with Shears. Should be able to get there fast enough. Going to save Shears for the final boss, obviously. We're probably going to take some damage along the way. It's basically unavoidable. I mean, look at some of these rooms that we're dealing with here. Um, we're doing what we can. But certainly, any room where we come across that only has one enemy is 100 times easier for us than any room... Uh, that has more than one enemy, as you might expect. Like, like this, this should be super easy, because we'll just freeze the shit out of Gertie. Level 4 Meat Boy will do a ton of damage. Gertie's about to fire. It should be firing straight ahead, though. If it does manage, yeah, well, it did manage to get a shot off. a big fucking deal. Oh, I don't want to... Oh, well, we're just fighting Gertie again. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I might as well just go through the secret room and save myself a couple of rooms of hassle, but... You know, maybe we'll get a Spirit Heart drop here. Well, we get a Tarot card. Here a font. That's two spirit hearts. Even better. So thank God we went into that room. Let us uh, bomb our way into the secret room and then bomb our way through. In the secret room we find money. Sure. Uh, helpful, I guess. To lesser folk who are not about to beat the game on a fairly successful run here. And we got double chubs. <laughs> Sounds like, you know, sixth grade gym class. I don't know where I was going with that one. Well, still taking a little bit of damage. There's here a font wasted, but I mean... Didn't expect to get it in the first place, so easy come, easy go. We pick up another Spirit Heart here, thanks to the Miter. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. This is easy. EZ is the way we say it in Canada. Still spelled the same. Sometimes I wonder how many of these misconceptions about Canada come from Canadians like myself, being like, oh yeah, that's how we do it. We all live in igloos, we don't have any power. Uh, we do... Yeah, it's cold everywhere. 
It's not like 80% of the population lives right next to the U.S. border. Death card! What do we have? We have death... Oh, we don't have another tarot card, so this is awesome. Alright, well, let's fight this final boss here. This is gonna be incredibly easy. I'm guessing, anyway. We'll pop shears, of course. You guys, get in here. You gotta do some damage. Uh, we'll now use our death card. And I don't anticipate much in the way of trouble here. It's a shame. I could have had a damageless chest run, I'm pretty sure. Wow, this is good. Sorry, blue baby. Your reign of terror is over. Fantastic. I'm a big fan of how this run went down. What's the takeaway messages here? Reroll the shit out of everything. Quad shot, freezing, level 4 meat boy. If you. The, the take home message. Wow, I just took some damage. Take home message. If you get a lot of good items, you're probably gonna do pretty well. So, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time on Let's Play The Binding of Isaac.